It's time for another exciting health and safety warning concerning epilepsy, because that shit's important, yo. Welcome, ladies and gentle beans, to another exciting Let's Play series provided to us by Sony Computer Entertainment and Japan Studios. Watch as they check our trophy data before bringing us into a loading screen, which will then be followed by another loading screen, followed by a fun little title. This game is awesome, but, uh, uh don't take my word for it. Our narrator friend will explain. Just give him a second. Second. Any time now. Don't be shy. One, come all to the most phenomenal, most extraordinary, most unimaginable puppet show you've ever experienced. Prepare for an astonishing adventure full of mystery, full of danger, and full of artistry, meant to astound the eye and capture the human soul. The yep. Games, Professor Gregorius T. Oswald. But my friends, and we're all friends here, call me G. Today's fantastical tale is the perilous journey of a boy named Kutoro. Ah, yes. We're gonna play Puppeteer. This game is awesome as fuck, and charming as fuck, and I really, really dug it when I originally played it. Came out back in 2013, just a couple months before the uh, current gen of consoles kind of stormed their way and kind of just stood there before some actual games came out for them. Um... And uh, this is definitely one of those uh, those niche games that you don't really see a lot of people talking about, but... Uh... Gentlemen, take your seats. The show will begin any moment now. I'm, I'm explaining to the people what this game is. Just give me, give me a second, Mr. Uh, Gene. Um, but yeah, you don't really hear a lot of people talking about it, but god damn, uh, is it uh, a charming game. Definitely one of those games that I would throw out there uh, in the ongoing discussion of whether or not video games can count as a high form of art. Um, and uh, you will see this very, very shortly. It is, it is a... It is an interactive puppet show that is also a platformer. Please do remember to turn off your mobile phones. Nobody, least of all me, wants to hear your showy ringtone during our stupendous show. Wow, I actually haven't uh, let this menu sit for long enough to actually hear all the different stuff he says. I gotta keep my phone on, though. It's on vibrate, but I gotta use it for my timer and shit, so that I know if things are running too long. Although I think... Uh, because of how this, uh, thing is structured, I might try to do a video per act. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it works, but, uh, uh, but we'll, uh, well, we'll see. This is not a humongously long game, but there are, there are definitely some long-winded sections, if I remember correctly. Uh, but why don't we stop dilly-dallying? I'm gonna start a new game. To the magical theater of the strange and fantastic. I actually do have a clear save. Everyone, that scissors are shot. Please do not run around with them, or attempt to use them to fly. That sounds amazingly random, but don't worry, there is actually a reason for why he said that. But yeah, I'm gonna start a new save, because I do have a clear save, but let's make this a new adventure for everyone, why don't we? So we're just going to say yes, ooh, yes. Oh, that's the other fun thing, too. You can actually play this co-op. I don't have a co-op partner right now, so we're just going to play it with me. I guess. Uh, yeah, start the game. Once upon a time, before everything went to rack and ruin, the Moon Realm was ruled by a beautiful goddess. But then, Little Bear, for whom the Moon Goddess had shown nothing but love, stole two of his mistress's precious possessions, the Black Moonstone and a magic pair of scissors known as Calibrus. After declaring himself Moon Bear King, he invaded the goddess's castle, smashed the white moonstone to pieces. Once upon a time, I once upon a now. This is my moon cheese, so just get to the part where I sound good. <laughs> right, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Wasn't everyone so very wowed when the moon goddess was obliterated? Wasn't it just great that the impressive Moonbear King uh, 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 gave a piece of the White Moonstone to each of his generals, screwing over the moon at large? 
Oh, yes, the next three years were something special. Ah, yes. Now, where do I begin? I'm already falling in love with this again. <laughs> uh, this game is hilarious. He was the Moon Realm's ruthless new king, and intent to keep it that way. So night after night he spirited away the souls of children and locked them inside wooden puppets who were doomed to defend Castle Grizzlestaff. Damn. While tonight was no exception, it would prove to be quite exceptional. The poor dearie. Look, Ying Yang, another day, another soul. Poor indeed. You're as bad as the tyrant. How many of these children are you planning to parade off to certain mutilation before you realize you're wasting your time? Why, one more and then another after that? As many as it takes me to get my hands on Calibrus. <laughs> That's nice. Well, she sounds evil. Meet our hapless hero, who's just blitzed back to life, firmly in the Moonbear King's clutches. Kutaro, Kutaro, your soul was summoned here at my behest. Kutaro, will you be my friend? No. Howls to the bitter end. No. <laughs> I need an adult. He just ate my head. That fucker just ate my head. This is violent as shit. Lovely. Another dunce who left his head in the Mune Bear King's belly. Listen, you're going to drop dead if you go without a head. And I'll be the one stuck with cleanup. Come on. Let's find something else you can use. A substitute head. Search! Use the right stick. Around in there. It's a head. Perhaps I'll just help myself. <laughs> this should do nothing. Hey, you're all set. Remember those head pots. They may be weird, but they flap around with lots of useful heads. But one little touch, and they'll drop their stash. You know, a new kid on the chopping block like you ought to have a couple of noggins, at least. Can't take any chances. <sighs> so yeah, this this weird little bat thing is a cursor that I control with the, uh, the right stick. It's uh, kind of like that thing in Rayman Legends, I think it was. Uh, so yeah, I can move them around, and then I can investigate objects by pressing R2. There's another one. See? Just like I said. Blast it! What am I doing wrong? Am I not powerful enough? Oh, look out! Ow, my head! Come. This is extremely important. One false move, and those heads of yours will tumble right off your shoulders. If you don't grab them right away, their magic will fade and... No more head. So remember, if you lose your head, pick it up post-haste. Uh, I remember that was actually the uh, the marketing tagline for the game whenever you saw it in, like, uh, emails or newsletters. It was, don't lose your head. Mune sparkles! <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Okay, yeah, what, are we, what are we talking about here? Voila! These are Mune sparkles. Collect 100 and you'll be able to magically come back to life, even if you do lose all your heads. Let's uh. keep looking. So yeah, your health in this game is basically this inventory of heads. Um, and it's it's actually a little strategic in a way because uh, while the heads themselves do not give you any extra special abilities in uh, platforming or combat, 
Um, you will need a specific type of head to access uh, one of the, the many, 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 many different secrets in the game, which I am not even going to begin to pretend that I know how to do. Um, I'm not going to make any terrible promises and say that I'm going to show everything off in this thing. Oh, what the fuck? We just got uh, th some witch's underwear thrown in our face. That's great. We even sparkles. Ooh. Hey. Keep your eyes peeled for mune sparkles if you want to stay alive. Also, gotta keep your. Also, gotta keep your eyes out for. Oh. Moonbear King is always angry. Yeah. Oh, look there. You see that head symbol? Listen, every head has a little bit of meowgic to it. They react to places and objects that resemble them. Oh, why don't you just give it a try? Here, first choose the right head. You no, know, that flashing skull is kind of... Yeah. Alrighty, whatever. No, I've selected the head. Use the head's meow jig. There we are. Anyway, keep an eye out for those head symbols. Anything could happen. Meow. Look at that. No wonder they're so skinny. <laughs> Oof. What a little darling. Welcome. Please make yourself at home. Go and bring it to me. Lots of stuff going on over here. Better follow that fork. The witch doesn't take kindly to long waits. Hurry Watch that up! feisty fork. It's as wicked as the witch. This guy loves his alliteration, it seems. Hey, Ow! I warned you. <laughs> Remember to pick that up quick. No more heads means no more you. Yes, and considering that you do need certain heads to access certain secrets, you have to make sure that you uh, don't lose that one, because usually the, the best ones, um, usually you obtain earlier on in the level, and you can only get it maybe once or twice. Uh, there are a lot of different types of heads that are themed after the different locations in the game. Through that shimmering gateway to proceed to the back of the kitchen. Now, make no mistake, Kutaro was not alone in his plight. The kitchen was already staffed by unfortunates whom the Moonbear King had plucked from their beds. These children had been charged with keeping the Fickle King fed, and it was a miserably hopeless task. After all, his appetite was as vast and insatiable as his lust for power. Careful, there's this thing about fire and puppets. <laughs> All those mune sparkles, you don't want to toast yourself grabbing them. Okay, gotta be very careful. Uh. Gotta be careful, don't want to get all toasted. Oh, there's a couple over there that I want to get. Whoop. There we are. And then through the gateway we go. Imagine being one of these tykes and spending dusk till dawn getting kneaded and grated, peeled and parboiled, marinated, melted, minced and mashed. Or, if they were lucky, just zesty. Followed by a light razor. Ow! Yep, we can roll by pressing L2, which is useful for dodging certain obstacles. Mm, I smell something delicious. The witch couldn't have made it. Ooh, Puppet McDonald's. Sounds delectable! Ooh, do we have a head? No, we don't have an appropriate head, I don't think. You should really be looking for- oh wait! That was my lunch. 
Oh, wait. There's a part here. There's that head symbol again. Gotta be all observant. You gotta examine everything. I was not doing that until now. And now we've got uh, a burger head. It might do something. Let's see what it does. Hmm. Head? Bread? Oh, try it on that sandwich. That's what I just did. Whoa! See how using your head can change the world? And I do mean that quite literally. We managed to turn that sandwich into a really, 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 really big burger. I don't think I got all the sparkles. Oh well. Which, in case you're wondering, was a singularly screwy sorceress by the name of Esma Pops. You'd think someone that gifted with a cauldron would know a thing or two about cooking. And you'd be wrong. Especially considering that her name is Pots. You usually cook with Pots. Whatever. As for Kutaro's catty companion, name of Yin Yang, he used to be the moon goddess's faithful feline. One might say his current mistress was a step down in some regards. Ow! I let my head fall off by touching fire. Not necessarily a thing that you want to do under normal circumstances. But even abnormal circumstances. Watch out for the vegetables. In this kitchen, the cook is a cook, and the squash are out to squish. I love the way this guy talks. Oh! You're a violent person. Whoa! Come hither, my pretties, so you can get lost! I don't like your tone, lady. Open the windows! I'm roosting alone. One, two, three! <laughs> what do you think? Meowed by my cat-like reflexes. Oh. Ah! Where is the moon goddess? Oh boy. Man to know where you have taken her. Ah! Unhand me, you louts! How dare you? That peppy princess ought to pipe down. Are you the new boy? I suppose you want me to get your soul back so you can return home. Yes. Not until you march those wooden legs up to the Moon Bear King's throne room and fetch me his magic scissors. You can do it. After all, you are a very special boy. Deja Mew. <laughs> How many very special boys are we up to now? Ying Yang. You can keep him company. Whoop-de-doo! We get to go to the throne room to find Calibrus. Won't this be fun? For help controlling Ying Yang, press the start button and choose controls. We know how to use him now. <laughs> Stop that! It tickles! Yeah, well... But look on the bright Stop side. At no. You don't have to stay here and get bossed around to an early grave by the witch. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Take it anymore! <laughs> Luna Castle! Whoa! We pissed her off, and now our feline guy is a carrot. Our feline cursor is a ca is a carrot. Fun little details like that are what make things awesome. Now we ascend a tower. Welcome to the Tower of Tribulations. But don't let a cheerful name like that fool you. 
This place is dripping with nasty traps. <laughs> My cat senses are tingling. Something's fishy about that armor. See? You never know where a head might be hiding. Head pots, dreadnoughts, parking lots. Check everywhere. They don't say, get your head out of the gutter for nothing. What? Also, that hurt. Oop. Whoa! I dodged you, you scary bat. Ooh, we've got a, uh, another skull head. And if we've already got a redundant head, then we just get more sparkles. Well... <laughs> What's in that pot? There is a... Oh, it's gonna expire. God damn it. Oh, never mind. I've got it. Yeah, every single head has its own unique animation. Easy. Still in one piece? Oh. Just managing. Whoop. And then we just fell down. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Come back. Ow. And then I lose it again. Fortunately, rolling is a great way to pick up speed real quick. Seems like in a lot of video games, rolling is your best way to just go ridiculously fast without actually making your character feel woozy or dizzy or anything like that. We've seen it in Zelda, and we've seen it in hundreds of other things. It's just a weird thing that you do. Anywho, we need a specific head for this. And I don't think we have it. I don't th Oh, yes, we do. We have the spider. It's time for a bonus stage! Kutaro had been snatched away by an enormous arachnid. But why didn't he end up as dinner? Perhaps the spider mistook Kutaro for one of her 10,000 children. Hard to keep track of all those little darlings, even with eight eyes. Then we bounce on him, and then he goes bouncy. Yep! Uh oh. Just gotta get one more. Ah! There we are. These bonus stages are pretty clever. Just like this game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. oh, and I ran out of time. Shit. Yeah, a lot of the uh, of the head secrets uh, take you to bonus stages, which often give you some real fat loot in the form of those. Uh, little, uh, mini-games that get you a shit-ton of, uh... The sparkles. Magnificent, Kotaro. There's the entrance to the throne room. No one has ever made it this far. Well, we... someone had to, right? I command you in the name of the sun! Ah! In 
the name of the sun. Oh my gosh, are you crazy? Do you know who I am? Dad's no. Gonna have a supernova. <laughs> Wait, sire. What if she's right? The sun does have a burning temper. Ha! What can he do? I've got his precious daughter. <laughs> well, of course you do, sire. And even if you didn't, your majesticalness is more than enough to eclipse the sun. <laughs> I've prepared a very special room for you, my dear princess. So please, I insist. Take a long rest. Oh no. The moon bear. Ooh. What luck. He's left Calibras unattended for once. Kutaro, you are one lucky person. This is not good. There before our hero towered the most impressive pair of scissors you've ever seen. The legendary Calibrus. But Calibrus was bound fast by vile vines, the twisted offspring of the Moon Bear King's twisted magic. Kutero, meet Calibrus. Calibrus is a cut above your average scissors. He used to serve the Moon Goddess. Step forward, boy, and take your destiny now. Oh. It's getting all prophetic and crazy now. Now that's a shock. <coughs> I mean, an honor. <laughs> Don't you see? Calibus has chosen you. Neat! And so Kutaro's fortunes were starting to look up. After all, he was now the proud owner of a pair of enchanted scissors. Isn't that what you all always want in life? Remember, Calibrus belonged to the Moon Bear King. Now we got a way of defending ourselves. It's quite awesome. And the boy's first challenge was to extricate himself from the booby trap he just set off. So now. Now this is a fine mess. You'd better use Calibrus to cut a way out of here. So now we got a pair of scissors that looks like a sword, so we gotta go and save the Sun Princess. And we do that by mashing the X, well, the square button to basically cut uh, across this whole thing, and uh, we can uh, basically kind of fly ish. Oh, there's a piece missing, that's why. There we are. That's the ticket. Yes, we can use our scissor powers to basically kind of propel ourselves into the air and fly-ish. It's quite handy. Oh, what was that? Uh, can we not get over there yet? I guess not. Showing us vertical cuts. Now diagonal cuts, which I've already been kind of doing. Like a true wizard. Oh, scissor me timbers. All right, here we go. Now we can actually access the head. And it was another skull, so screw that. Take good care of Calibras, and Calibras will take care of you. Oh, lovely. Nice. Don't stop now, or the breeze will catch us. What? Ah! An angry flying carpet? Hand on my property! With a cat face. Rats. How did you get out? Wait, how did you get in? Magic. What have you done to suit my throne room? Guards, apprehend that thief! Ah, oh god. 
Darkly, the grubs descended upon our trembling hero. But locked within each of them was the soul of a child, just as scared as him. No. That can't be. Death. Very heroic. I'll pop your head! Clean off your shoulders! Why did I think there was a cat? Get the, the freaking care bear king. Just like the rest of these poor children. Ah! So what we gotta do is we gotta weaken their bodies and then cut their souls from their bodies so that we can uh, send them back to Earth. It's all very good-natured. Guards? Huh? Guards! <gasps> I'll do it myself. You're not doing it yourself. You've got a magic carpet man helping you. Of all the Moonbear King's nightmarish magical creations, Weavers were some of the nastiest. This was Kutaro's first ever real dose of fear. But to escape the Weaver, those fears would need to be conquered. More like cut down. As the clash grew even clashier, the boy <laughs> slipped, sliced, and sundered with the cold yeah. realization his life counted on it. You are a crafty piece of carpentry. Must cut all the souls. Must free all the children. Success! The Fell Weaver was no more. With the legendary Calibrus firmly in hand. No, I want to get more of that. The first step of his grand adventure. Snippy snippy. Unfortunately, the next steps had to be taken as a run, as the Savage King was hot on our heroes. Tiger! Uh, yes, sir. Oh, where did that whelp go? Uh, well, he can't have gotten far, sire. He has such tiny legs. I imagine he's right around the corner. I don't want him around the corner. I want him cornered! Find that thief, or I'll find someone who can! Please, sire, your blood pressure. I'll take care of it. Would you like a bat drop? A glass of warm milk? Anything? No? Oh, stop kissing ass, title, Tiger. Did half as far. This will be music to the witch's ears. Oh, man up, would you please? Would you prefer the grubs find you and the moon bear king yanks your limbs off? <laughs> yeah, that definitely doesn't seem like the preferred option, but god damn, is that witch a bitch? Nobody likes her, least of all us. With a flash of Calibrus, Kutaro felled the frightful monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Yay! Everything's looking pretty good. But we aren't even close to being finished yet. No. Ho. Had obtained Calibrus, a legendary pair of magic scissors. But before he could start cutting along the dotted line of destiny, he would have to escape the wrath of the tyrannical Moon Bear King. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So we gotta find some more heads, we gotta rescue some souls, and we gotta get to a bonus stage. So the story continues. Lucky Kutaro, suckered into stealing a set of sorcerer's scissors by the witch and stirring up a tyrant's rage. Now all his hopes of escaping the castle were dashed, just as he himself 
dashed like mad to outrun the soldier grubs who wanted his head. Poor Kutaro. His only hopes now were Calibrus and a witch of most questionable character. What cruel tricks would fate play on him next? I don't know, but it looks like we're going to find out. It's going to be a crazy ride. You, you pussy-footy wussy cat, where were you? What? I ought to fudge and this. It can't be. Did you forget you sent us off in the first place? Yes, Calibrus chose him. Finally! Those legendary shears will cut right through the Moon Bear King's lackeys and set the Moon Realm free! Now, my brave young warrior, why don't you let Granny hold onto those for you? No! Right now, you wooden dolt! How about I cut your nose off with this thing? You tell me I'm not sure! I'm gotcha! You need either a heart as pure as the goddesses, or pernicious magic like the Grizz. But all you've got is an attitude. That's true. Oh, oh nuts! Uh, you keep Calabras, and you'll take good care of it for me. I smell him. That's the punch and stink of a scissor thief. <laughs> How do you know what a scissor thief smells like? How kind of you to drop back to check on Beasley old me. Uh, oh, I just don't know anything about uh, this cookie, but if I see him, you'll be the first and last to know. And this egregiously foul odor must be witch stink. You are certain he's not here? Oh, yes, very certain, your antagonist. I beg you, bring that scoundrel to justice, or I may not sleep a week tonight. Ah, don't worry. My grubs will have this whole castle locked down in no time. We might not necessarily be a big fan of her, but that witch does seem to be the only reliable ally that we seem to have. After all, we can't have anyone crashing the prison towers and making off with the knight's powers. Now can we? Do you hear that, dear? Then get your hidey in! Whoa. The tiger's tongue had slipped. Whatever powers this knight had, they were clearly important. We better start off by getting this skull head of ours replaced with a spider head. Probably not the most advisable thing ever. Oh well, whatever. So now we just gotta cut our way up through these leaves. The castle walls didn't come with stairs. Clinging to the slippery stones instead were giant living vines imbued with dark magic. Come on, whoop! Ah, I love the papery aesthetic of these things. through the vines with Calibrus, Kuturo scrambled up and up. Onward he must climb. Oh, 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 careful. Oh, but yeah, I, I, I just love the way that this looks. Everything looks like either freaking cardboard or paper or wood. There was a reason the Moon Witch framed Kutaro for stealing the scissors. The moment she marched him off to the throne room, she had already concocted a plan to take Calibrus for herself. I don't think you needed to explain that. can't trust the Wicked Witch type. Come on, give me your soul. Thank you. Just want to free you, that's all. Oh, 
Jessica's got a nice little re oh, 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 Don't got time to get all of them. We gotta move. Despite himself, Kutaro was growing excited. What kind of awesome power could this knight in the towers have anyway? Maybe he can use a sword. Oh. Gotta mash the button to cut. Oh, and I fell. There we are. And now we're making some progress. Oh, these, these, these are dying. Got it. Friggin' get up there. There was a giant sparkle over there, but I didn't care. We'll have to muse these for stairs. Just cut along the scene. Very sound advice. I don't want another spider head. I've got like I'm two of. No, no, I don't have two of them. I have two regal heads, but still. That's also a thing that happens. Now we just gotta keep cutting and keep mashing and cutting and mashing and cutting and uh, avoiding scary things. Stop putting Take that, you vine monster! Oh! Oh no! I lost both my heads! There we go. Now let's try that again! Whoop. That's right, sometimes you have to uh, go uh, on multiple paths when... Uh, Cutting along the seams. Ah. But doing that is super fun. soul actually get free? I don't think it did. It's still... Yeah, there we go. That was weird. So yeah, you do have to occasionally pay attention to where you're going. Kutaro sliced his way through flags, vines, anything he could sink those scissors into. And he had an oddly good time doing it. He enjoyed cutting things down with those scissors. It almost became a sick joy to him. And there was a pot over there, but it's probably just another thing that I already have. Sitting down when the Moon Bear King rose to her. Many tried to oust the tide and bring back the gods. One or two of them even survived. But the goddess champions all fell, and their powers were locked away in secret, well-guarded places. Now, where do you suppose the knight's powers are hiding? Probably somewhere deep in this tower. Tower top security was tight. The wheeler patrolled the smoke-ridden sky, swooping and slicing at anything that was. 
These towers not only defended the castle walls when the Moon Bear King rebelled against the goddess, but during the ferocious final fight, they also went on the attack. Shit, I gotta go and... Yeah, there we are. The tyrant later converted the towering spires to a prison, which with abounding imagination, he dubbed the Prison Towers. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a creative... Oh, are you kidding me? ...detained at his majesty's pleasure to starve, rot, and generally suffer. Only their armor remained to tell their terrible tale. Yeah, so I need some kind of a bat hat, and I did not get the bat hat, so we do not get that bonus stage. Oh well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. 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 We just barely managed to survive. Not gonna complain. Oh, did we get... Oh, it was another spider hat. Damn it. I know I keep calling them hats for some reason. Wait. What's down here? Usually when you go off the beaten path, there's something fun. Ugh. Oh no. We're just kind of going backwards. Okay, that wasn't good. Fortunately, we've got lots of lives, so it's all, uh, all well and good. I just wanted to get that, uh, big thing of sparklies, that's all. Is that so wrong? I don't think it is. Uh oh, whoa. Oh. Then we go. Oh shit! No 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 no! We lost our head and died. That's okay though, because we got that fun little. The towering spires to a prison, which with abounding imagination he dubbed the Prison Towers. The crushed forces of the Moon Goddess were detained in His Majesty's pleasure to starve or rot and generally suffer. Only their armor remained to tell their terrible tale. No, we don't have the right head. We'll never have the right head. I'm just going to stop trying to get that, uh... Big mess of sparkle. Oh no, wait, we might get it here. Oh yeah, there we are. Just had to go around. Just had to go along the right seam. Gorging on the power in its lord's dark seal, the weaver stretched to protect his Budaro knew he had to swallow his fear, step forward, and keep his head. Oh, well, well. Looks like the pawn has become a knight. Why do all your problems seem to come in extra large? I don't know, but we'll cut it there. We'll cut it down to size. We are a cut above the rest. It might be big, but it's only stitches. A snip or two should do it. Ah, go on the scene, make it. <laughs> oh, are you inviting us to come up? In the armor. I bet you can come through. Yeah. Man, could you imagine a puppet show version of God of War that was basically this? Oh, 
Kratos just uses a thing of scissors to cut everything up. I lost one of my heads. Come on. Eh. Uh, gotta hop up there. Uh, woo. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Go back up. Oh no. I took too long. That was foolish of me. Ow. Okay. Come on. Okay, there we are. Oh, no! Why? Why did I walk into it? Why did I walk into it? I didn't mean to walk into it. And now to boing! Actually hit the seam. There we go! Cut, 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 cut. You don't really like that, do ya? I didn't think you would. That's why I'm doing it! To make you sad. Man, that actually looks like real fire. Whoever, whoever was handling pyrotechnics in this show certainly did a good job. I wonder how expensive this particular show is to put on. Because we're going through a lot of fabric and a lot of, uh, everything. A lot of material. You've only got one limb left. I think we might be able to defeat you! Ah, uh, yeah! Ugh. And there he goes. Now we just gotta make our surgical strike. Gotta do it one more time. Ah! He's just ahead now. But he still has his weird little hand attack. This isn't right. Also, I lost my one spider head. Fuck. No, sorry, I have the spider head still. Fuck, what head did I have? Oh, well, whatever, I don't care. Ugh! Just gotta keep making our cuts. Ah, get up there. Damn it. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll, dodge. Woo. Oh shit, I just realized I had no extra heads. Wow. We're only on level two, come on! There we go. One more time. We'll fight you, you wicked weaver. Up, 
Fuck! Whoop! And then we just keep on cutting. Parrots, don't it? Now we just gotta cut up here. Gotta go for the specific part. That's a little annoying. Just your luck. Come on. You've only got one arm left. Even though it doesn't really count for much, you still have the same attacks, so it's like, whatever. Come on, make your weird thing out pop up. really don't like that. Uh, and up we go, up we go. It's starting to unravel. Oh. Come on! Pop, 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 You really don't like that. You look like a set. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ah. Aha. That hurt. Now to make the final cut. Souls free. As soon as I can get up there. Oh, do I gotta roll? I gotta roll. Ah. Ah. There we go. Hey. That was a little annoying. How come I couldn't pick the fucking things up? Whatever, where is he? Oh, he's back up here. Gotta cut up, gotta cut up, gotta cut up. Up, 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 up. Okay, there we are. Just had to go up the other way. Seems it. Oh, yeah. How many souls does it cost to power these things? Could this be the power he sought? Got an iron ball. Got a new head. I'm a, I got a spiky head. Kind of reminds me of uh, one of the dynamite heady heads. There's a pretty damn good old school game. I made a review of that like way, way back and forever ago. Tiger! Quickly, you fool! He's going to find the Knight's shield! How could he possibly know it was in there? Stop him! 
If Kukuro makes off with the shield, or the Sun Princess! Mark my growl. Growl! Rip that bit of Moonstone right out of your mouth! Well, when I find that idiot who blabbed about the night in front of... <laughs> wow. He certainly isn't taking this very well. Not at all. With the help of Calibrus, Kuturo defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kuturo! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Yeah, obviously he says different things depending on whether or not you free some of the souls or all of the souls. I managed to save 69 of them. That's still a sex thing. Uh... Old memes. Kuturo had spied an old shield in the prison tower, but Tiger was hot on his heels. Where were the knight's powers? Who was this princess that had been locked up? And would Kuturo make it out of the Black Castle alive? Hmm. I would like to continue, but I've almost reached an hour's length of the video, so I do believe we are going to cut off. However, with that said, we will definitely be getting back onto this very, very soon. Will we be able to defeat the evil Tiger General? Will we be able to rescue that weird sun princess? Will we be able to free the souls of the rest of the children, plus ourselves, and save both the Earth and the Moon? The only way to find out is to tune into the next exciting episode of Let's Play Puppeteer. Till then, take care.